Hi, first graders. It's Miss Angles, Miss Comia, and Mrs. Peak, and Dr. J. <laughs> and we are super excited to show you a really awesome website called getepic.com. And you might have seen it in our newsletter from earlier this week, but on this website, <laughs> you have access to lots and lots of super awesome books. Some of the books will even read to you, but today we are all going to read a book um, to you called Captain Starfish. In just one second. All right. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at the cover of Captain Starfish. I would like for you to make a prediction. What do you think this book is about? We know the title says Captain Starfish, but remember, it may be different. Take a moment, think about what you think this story is about, and at the end, let's see if you were correct. And remember, while we're reading, Use your five finger retelling strategy to identify the characters, setting, in what happens in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. All right, so we're gonna get started. Captain Starfish by Davina Bell, illustrated by Allison Colpoys. The day before the underwater dress up parade, Alfie got that feeling. It was the same feeling he'd had before running the races, when he was sure that he'd come in last. It was the same feeling he'd had before Antoinette's reptile party, and he was worried about musical chairs. It wasn't a nice feeling. Alfie had his costume ready. He had practiced wearing it while he marched around the living room, pretending he was in the school hall leading the parade. You look nice, Alfie, Mom said in a very proud voice. You'll be the star, Dad said, and winked his eye. You're brave, Alfie said to himself. You are brave enough to be Captain Starfish. But it wasn't really true. Alfie hadn't gone to the running races. He had hidden under his blanket and stayed there even when it got hot and itchy. Alfie had only gotten halfway to Antoinette's reptile party before he'd asked his mom to turn the car around. He had hidden Antoinette's present away, but sometimes it poked out and Alfie got the feeling again. Before bed, mom gave Alfie's forehead an extra long kiss. Sleep well, Captain Starfish, said dad as he switched on the nightlight, but Alfie didn't sleep well. In the night, he dreamed, and they weren't nice dreams. He dreamed about a big, angry octopus with a tiny hat. He dreamed about a hissing sea snake and a spiky pufferfish and not being able to get out of a bubble. <coughs> he dreamed that he was carrying the ocean all on his own. In the morning, Alfie curled up like a hedgehog. His tummy hurt. I'm not brave enough to be Captain Starfish, he whispered to the cowboys on his wallpaper. Ms. Ankles, can you turn the page? Sorry. Mom came in and sat on his bed, and Alfie said to her, I can't. He turned to look at her face and said, please don't be angry. But mom wasn't angry. When you're dressed, Alfie, she said, we're going somewhere special. Everything there was shimmery and beautiful. There was a tunnel under the ocean where you could stand on a moving sidewalk. That was where Alfie saw a starfish. 
It was blue and white and perfect, just like his costume. Elfie looked down at his sneakers. All around him, the ocean felt as heavy as the world. Just then, a little fish popped out of a coral forest down near the ocean floor. Its fins reminded Alfie of a tiny butterfly. It came right up to the glass and wiggled at Alfie. And Alfie whispered, hello. Then it swam straight back into the coral forest. Alfie watched and waited, but it didn't come out again. Alfie thought about the orange fish with the friendly wiggle all the way home. He came out, but only for the tiniest second, said Alfie. I think he smiled at me. Sometimes clownfish need to hide away, said Mom. It's just what they do. People too, said Alfie, thinking of the dress-up parade, which didn't seem quite so scary now. Mom nodded. Yes, people too. It was so late when they arrived that Dad had already run the bubble bath. Dad, said Alfie, I wasn't Captain Starfish, but it doesn't matter. Not at all, agreed Dad. Maybe next year, said Alfie. Next year, I'm going to dress up as a clownfish, Alfie told the cowboys on his wallpaper. And that is just what he did. The end. Yay! Thank you so much for reading with us. Um, was your prediction correct? Can't wait to hear from you. Bye! See Don't forget to share with someone at your house, one of your family members. See you next time. See you next Bye. time.